Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. All right, so we do have a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising in our hands. And just hold on a second, guys, to shuffle the cards, and we're going to jump right into the spread. Alright, so the first card we do have for Libra, that is going to be the Three of Cups. Moving next, we do have the Aeon, followed by the Queen of Pentacles here. Afterwards, we do have the Knights of Wands. And the last one for you, Libra, that is going to be the Emperor. Alright. So uh, those four those five cards, I'm sorry guys, it is what we do have for you. And uh, for what it seems at the start of the week here, you're going to get along with, uh, with the people that you are, for example, working with or in generally with the people that you are interacting with as well. It's uh, very likely that, uh, how can I say, that cumulative effort in general in terms of either career or in terms of either relationships as well, are going to simply produce results. That is because there will be some kind of a, um, a, a synergy in between how you feel and how those around you feel. So <clears throat> if you do feel negative in regards to certain things, uh, let's say in terms of your family matters, that is how your family is going to feel overall about it. So what I am trying to say here is that at the start of the, of the week, it's very likely that you are going to find a common ground, especially with uh, individuals that you are a little bit on the edge there. But Overall, uh, the start of the week for you, Libra, is going to be a good start, if I may say it that way. It is because a results are going to follow you everywhere you go. You try to do something and it's, it's start producing results for you. You try to do another thing, same thing happens, starts produce a results for you. But uh, in terms of interactions, because this is where the, the card really shines here, Three of Cups, in terms of interactions, you should not kind of like hide behind the curtains, if I may say it that way. But if you do feel something towards somebody, it will be a good uh, timing for you to display how you feel and why you are feeling that way as well. Because like I said, the vision of things is going to be in synergy. The vision of you and your partner, for example, between you and your lover, between you and your family, and so on and so forth. So that's why these first couple of days of the week is going to be crucial for you to make somebody know that you love them, for example, or that you, that you do hold interest toward them, or in generally uh, what you want to do with that project or with this endeavor and so on and so forth. And right after that, we do have the Aeon and it will be like, a, um, how can I say, liberation in a sense of that with uh, these actions that you're going to take when we do have the Three of Cups here, you know, sharing your emotional state, uh, producing end results and in generally finding a common ground and, and making a cumulative effort that is going to to relieve you from certain concerns that you may have in regards to individuals, right? That we is going to relieve you about the concern, for example, did he love me? Did 
did he or she loved me or not, all right? That is going to relieve you of the concern, for example, am I gonna hold up to the job that I am, that I am in right now? Or, or am I, um, how can I say, vacated for the project that it is coming in and so on and so forth. So you're gonna make things pretty clear for yourself towards at the start and towards the middle of the week that it is coming. Here with the Aeon, or that is a judgment, the whole picture is going to pretty much take place for you and you're gonna know exactly how you stand. Now, you are not gonna find yourself in a disadvantageous position. Regardless of how things develop, with you in uh, the Three of Cups stage here of the week, Aeon, as Aeon follows, you are always going to have an option available. And that is going to be the right option available that you have to take on. So if you have been denied, denied, for example, in case you have displayed your emotional state towards somebody, say you send them that you like them and they say, you know what, I, I don't feel the same way, uh, the, the, the Aeon offers you another or the right option available or it, it says that that person was not right for you. That is just what the card says, all right? You may think whatever you like. I mean, you're entitled to your own senses and to your own feelings. But here the Aeon says that the results of the Three of Cups is pretty much setting you into the right way. It kind of like sets up for you the right stage. Uh, for a you moving forward. So towards the middle of the week, you are gonna pretty, know, pretty much have a good idea how your at least near future is going to develop, either in terms of career or either in terms of relationship as well. And right after that, a person steps in, that may be somebody that you know, or it may be somebody that just, you know, appears into your environment, Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles, these people are not usually concerned with the things of others. They are overabundant, all right? Uh, overindulged, I'm sorry. They do have everything they need. And for now, or at this particular stage, all that matters it is what they see when they look themselves into the mirror. So they're not concerned with any gains. They're not concerned as well with any progress that is theirs. But when they see you, they kind of see a unpolished, diamond, let's say it that way, or a jewelry, all right? And so the interaction in between you and the Queen of Pentacles is going to be an interaction where that queen is either going to give you, that could be a man, all right? It's just, it's coming as a person. The queen, it's, it could be a man, it could be a woman, any court card, it could be a man or it could be a woman. It just, it comes as a person here and uh, uh, how can I say, it could serve either as an example to you to kind of like uh, mm, acknowledge yourself or, or see yourself in her, I'm saying her because it's a queen's shoes and realize that you can be at her place or similar to her place. So she gives you an example with her standing and that makes you realize how much potential you actually have with this option available that it was right for you to do. And uh, the other way how it could play out is like a, a guide, right? It, it, it just points you the unfound options available for you or not options available, but unfound potentials here to for an explore that uh, beforehand you had clouded in obscurity. And uh, once that happens, we do have the Knights of Wands. So once that happens, you are going to become very enterprising, all right? Very, uh, not, well, it's cheerful, but it's like active uh, with, with a huge impulse. So basically, get the things done, you know, with, with a, a huge impulse to try things out, those potentials that are unexplored, that to, to start polishing the diamond that you are, all right? This is very fitable and suitable for a newfound relationship or just that, that you have just started a new job or you have just been reassigned or you have a, uh, you know, just have been promoted and you may have doubts in yourself and in the collective here, but this coworker or that supervisor steps in and actually it's pro provides you with an information or just with information, but it boosts your confidence that you can actually do it. And it's, it's where you just, dry or, or take from 
the impulse here that the Knights of Wands gives you. And uh, from the middle of the week towards the, mid the end of the week here, say uh, Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday as well, you're going to burst with energy, Libra, and will want to try things out. Now here, what we do have, it's a, a process of try of trial and error, all right? You try one thing, it doesn't work out, well, whatever, you move to the next one. Now, the thing, however, with the Knights of Wands is that while you do have the huge impulse here, that impulse is set for a certain thing, right? And as soon as you do find what works for you, whomever works for you or what works for you regarding, uh, depending on what, you, what situation you're finding yourself at, you have to stop there and just develop it to the very end. For the impulse, then is going to redirect into development rather than to searching, right? At that point as well with the Knights of Wands, you may receive as well a helping hand of development also. So uh, it's, it's a pretty good finisher here or moving towards the end of the week where uh, it's simply you're going to find what works for you or who is best for you to be with. And the last card that we do have for you, Libra, that is going to be the uh, Emperor. So that impulse here is capitalized, what we can see towards the end of the week in you. And it is the only thing that matters now, this, um, this either thing that works for you or this person that is suitable for you to be with, you know, or a friend, whatever your situation is. So you are, your focus is completely um, devoted to it for what we can see with the emperor and you give everything you got to its unfoldment and it's not even a struggle but it is more like a strive to or a strive to to maintain it under control to give a, a direction to everything it has to offer to you to a strive to make every up and down that this agenda or a routine or a relationship, you know, or a project or a position, whatever, can offer to you very manageable and uh, you will be able to make it. And at that point, whomever doubted that you are up for the job is going to be proven wrong. Whoever doubted that you can be with this woman or with this man that seemingly looks like a player from a side and everybody thought that they are going to cheat on you or you are just, you know, for the hacking giggles with them uh, or they are taking you um, as a uh, as a lover just for the hex for the hacking giggles that they are going to be proven wrong as well so don't go by don't go by the opinion of uh, those that are around you not because they are wishing you any ill or anything like that but it is because here you will know best you know what works for you and what doesn't and that should be the only guide uh, aside from the Queen of Pentacles, which is going to tell you or is going to boost your confidence that if you do have doubts, you can do something that per, that individual is going to boost your confidence that you actually can do it. So, uh, yeah, listen to only your sense of passion and to your, um, how can I say, uh, sense of, uh, it's not even a sense, but follow what works for you in general. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do uh, liked it and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.